Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Modded Gungeon. We are back again and this time we're going to roll as a new custom character. We're going to be playing as the Skater. This is part of Knife to a Gunfight. You got a pretty big update recently, adding some synergies and other stuff and mainly these two characters. Pretty interested to try them out. I don't really know anything about them, um, so forgive me if I play them wrong, but we're going to give it a go. So we start with the Toy AK, which... I believe the toy AK as well as the rad ball, like things I've seen before. So chance to jam when firing, this gun jams less the cooler you are. Press reload at any time, the gun jams to clear the mechanism. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we've also got the cool cat books. Spend coolness to gain prizes. Despite their name, uh, these dollars are the least cool form of currency in the known universe. They were originally take uh, tokens for a pizza arcade. Just having to touch them makes you feel less cool. Okay, so that makes me think we're going to start with not much coolness. Then we've got Superfly, which is our passive item. Um, when, you are, when you're confident, it's like nothing can stop you. Your own coolness lets you handle weaponly more effective, uh, effectively. Increase fire rate when cool. Love that. And the rad board here um, is pretty interesting. This is our way of getting coolness, right? Um, a skateboard that has its own fair share of uses and new coat of pain. It's useful, this, and the gungeon is quite questionable, but it sure makes you look cool jumping over bullets. Gain a little bit of coolness for rolling over bullets. Max of three pair room. Okay, so, really interesting character. Completely built around coolness, which I don't think there's any custom characters that do that right now. Um, so, definitely willing to, to try this out and see sort of what we can make of it. Uh, I'm sure we can have some interesting stuff going on, but we've got a... Uh, Unique coolness counter with this character, which is kind of intriguing. Um, it's kind of good because I suppose not everyone's going to use the um, the mod that lets you see your coolness as a base. So it's a good idea to have that, I guess. Uh, but not strictly necessary because I feel like most people are going to be using the, um, the mod anyways. But still, good to have nonetheless. We're going to be aiming to roll over as many bullets as we can. But... Good, good, good. There you go. A little bit of coolness there. I like it. So we've got 0 0.25 coolness right now. Nice. <laughs> I like it. Okay. And we can keep our fire rate going up and up via doing this. I like the noise it makes. And it like slightly slows down the game a little bit as well. Which is kind of an intriguing take. I was going to open this up. That's good stuff. I like that. Um, it's, it, I can't remember exactly how this works. I'll be honest. Increases the chance to find shells upon completing rooms. Yeah, I thought that's what it was. But yeah, good extra bit of money there. I like that. We can keep on working with that. Now, rooms that don't have uh, enemies that shoot are going to be problematic. Now, I will say as well, Toy AK is a problematic weapon for me because I just don't think it's very good. Okay, only three pair of room, but we want to try and get three every room realistically we want to try and get our coolness up to probably around 10 i've not had my gun jam yet from what i've been able to tell which is pretty nice okay i got all three there nice one and yeah of course i can spend coolness as well i'm gonna wait until i get up to like at least five coolness before i do that i'm assuming it's only gonna spend one coolness at a time but Honestly, I don't know. There's my first jam. Honestly, this champion, this this version with the skulls flying around it, is such a massive pain in the ass. <laughs> such a big pain. Alright, see what we've got going on in here. Nothing good apart from potentially buying the keys. But yeah, we are at exactly one coolness right now. So it takes around three rooms of combat of dodging bullets to get one um, coolness increase, which is fair. I'm definitely going to get hurt a ton trying to game this but I have to try yeah I'm hoping I can get a better weapon pretty sharpish because right now this thing isn't cutting the cheese for me it's not particularly amazing we get 1.25 for every bullet that we roll over dude I'm trying my best here the table's making it more annoying, and the skull guy is also making it annoying. Dude, come on now. Good. good. But yeah, I like this. It's, it's a fun little mini game within your run. It's definitely going to get me hit a ton as well. Nice. 
Oh, I think it maybe has diminishing returns, potentially. But yeah, nice little sort of mini game to play while you're playing the run. Also, apologies for no Gungeon last week. Gungeon wasn't, it like wouldn't start up for me and it was pissing me off. So I just ended up putting it on the back burner for a little while. Good, good. It's easiest to just like wait until there's one enemy left and get every single, uh, every single coolness upgrade on single enemy. We're up to two coolness already. We're going pretty well on that. Good, and obviously our fire rate is slowly increasing as well, which is helpful. Yeah, I'm waiting for our next uh, weapon here. I might have missed my opportunity there. I think that thing does shoot. These guys don't really shoot us, so we can't really do it on these guys. So this room might be a bit of a wash for us. Oh, wait, no. Uh, okay, no. Do these guys shoot? No, they don't. Okay. Shame. No, no extra coolness in that room. It is what it is. Okay, cool. And there you go. Good, good, good. And then we do have a brown chest. It's a weapon, though, so it's not going to be great, but I will take it. Eh, really not very good at all, but I knew the risks. I knew the risks. One off, an extra key. I'll come back and get that. Really don't like having to fight you guys with the weapon we've got right now, I'll be honest. In fact, this is pretty horrendous. This is going to take a really long time. This starting weapon really sucks. <laughs> this might be like the weakest starting weapon um, I've had like in any character. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's fully auto and it's got a good mag size. So that is good. But it seems like damage wise, it seems real low. Ah, bad hit there. I'm, I'm getting hit a lot at the minute. I'll be honest, I just haven't played Gungeon in a while. I'm probably not going to win this run, I'll be honest. That just kind of is what it is. Okay. We will try our best, though, to not get hit too much more here. We'll probably get some HP out of killing this guy anyways. But yeah, I'm curious to see what the prizes are for trading in our coolness, but... Honestly, fire rate is more of a prize than I could wish for, so I'm kind of more inclined to just keep my coolness. Ooh. And that's a synergy as well. Um, what does that synergy do? Um, I'll just search it on this instead. Okay. What's the synergy called? I should probably just find that out first, shouldn't I? Coin crown and a synergy is too heavy. So the too heavy doubles the chance for coin crown to spawn money upon completing a room. Seems really good. We'll grab that. I'm not buying either of those guns because they both suck. Um. Oubliette, oubliette, oubliette. I don't know. Now nah, we'll go to the we'll go to the thingy floor. I've got arrows, two bitches. Oh god, this thing sucks so bad. <laughs> okay, this thing's got a bit more oomph to it at least. I forgot to roll over the bullets. My bad. Oh, I'm so bad at getting hit by them. Extra key as well. Okay, dude. Just blow up my barrel. Okay. Shouldn't have been using this gun, to be honest. All my bad. All of that was my bad. I guess we're going oubliette, then. Ooble boobles. Right, away we go. Haven't been oubliette in a little while, so this is nice. Yeah, I have to remember about the coolness thing. It's probably going to get a little tedious later in the game, but then again, I suppose by that point, you've probably got enough luck 
to make it work. Uh, and I suppose this is also one of those things as well that you don't really have to game. You could just play it naturally and build up coolness as you go. But I feel like I owe it to the character to try and game it a little bit in, in terms of like trying to get as much coolness as I can. I feel like I'd be missing out if I didn't. There you go. We got it all. Hey, you killed yourself. Nice. Good. Uh. Oh god, I've run out of the ability to fire. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Those enemies can be a little rough. Damn it. There's another one. I didn't realize there was two. There you go. We got all of our coolness anyways. Oh, you're buffed as well. No thank you, my lord. No thank you. Ha ha ha. You're trapped, sunshine. You're trapped. Right, you gotta be dead. Good, good. Hey, extra armor as well. It's pretty good considering our health situation isn't ideal. Oh, we have a little unique dodge animation as well here. Oh, dude, how did I not notice that before? She gets on the little skateboard. That's amazing. That's an absolutely amazing animation. I love that. Oh, bugger. I've, I've overwhelmed myself a little bit here. We're good. We're good, we're good. Alright, keep it moving. I want to find the shop because we've got quite a lot of money right now. Alright, let's continue on. Apologies about that. Oh god, I completely forgot where I was then. I'm going to kill you if you pop up somewhere nice. Yeah, you did. Good. I'm just going to kill you and then use these guys to get my brawlies going. Damn it. I missed the last one. It's okay. We've got a good amount. It's fine. Not a fan of this. Damn it. Okay, that was easy. Nice and simple. Oh, we got a jam. Reload's quite long when you get a gem. Okay. You guys are a little more tricky. I can definitely feel my fire rate's gone up by a good bit. Which one is fire rate? Is it this, the second one? 0 0.84 times. Isn't that making our fire rate worse? Hold up. Fire delay. Oh, it's fire delay, not fire rare. I see. Okay, so it getting lower is good. Look at the little skateboard. Oh my god, I love that. Ooh, hello. Ooh, hello. We got Mum's Knife. Which, it literally is mod-like based on Mum's Knife, this item. It's real goddamn strong. I do not like this. Good, got all of our extra coolness there. To be fair, we're only on Oubliette and we've already gotten up to like four and a bit coolness. So you can stack it up pretty goddamn quick. Stacks up pretty fast. Do you know what? Let's, I'm not going to go to the uh, thingy floor, but we might as well grab this anyways. It's extra armor and it's free. Go. Good, good. Oh my god, how did I? I don't even know how I avoided as much as I did there. 
ammo I'm just going to take for this thing. Up to 4.4 coolness now. Where's our shop at? A synergy chest as well. God damn, we got lucky with our uh, chests here. How did I not roll over a bullet then? Come on. Oh, dude. Yeah, that. I think that uh, bunny, if you're watching, I think that one with the skulls flying around the enemies needs to be tweaked a little bit. I feel like it's like, compared to the other champion types, it's so much harder. Also, I feel like my aim assist gets dragged onto the skulls for some reason, which is really annoying as a controller player. Uh, but also, yeah, I feel like the skulls should have a ton of HP and like, they're quite close to the enemy, which means they're really hard to like, not shoot. Makes those enemies take way longer to kill than they should. Which I realise is the point, they're meant to take longer, but I think they take a bit too long. Nice. 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 Good, good. Oop, secret rooms here as well. Just two glass one stones. Not good at all. What do you have in store for a shop? The sling, which I'll definitely take as our boss killer. And the key for this. No synergy, but you did give me this, which does count as an extra, so I'm happy with that. Good. Nice and easy. In this room, I'm not even going to bother trying to dodge the bullets. It's a little too risky, I think. Oh, wait. The, the knife shield is actually not great for us. Dude, you've been jammed as a pain. Uh, because the, we're going to try and roll over bullets and it's going to destroy you the bullets. Oh, dude. What the hell? I rolled backwards instead of forwards there. Yeah, the knife shield is actually kind of terrible for us. I'm, I'm just not going to use it because... It's just going to screw things up in terms of rolling over bullets. Oh, you just killed yourself, did you? Okay. You do you, I guess. Oh my god, dude. I'm, I'm definitely going to die as this guy trying to go for too much, uh, too much coolness. I want to use my active, but I'm scared it's going to take all of my um, all of my coolness, and I really don't want it to. <laughs> I've got a 25% fire rate boost at the moment. I'm pretty happy with that. You know what? Let's just use it. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, you get to choose different things. So that implies invincibility for a short time for two coolness. Or maybe it gives me that active, but that's not what I'd expect. That is ammo for minus one coolness. That is leave this, and this is health or armor. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know how I actually select any of these, I'll be honest. I, I literally have no idea how I'm meant to select these. Um, okay, there you go. Okay, I, I, I guess I'll use that on occasion, but honestly, I'd much, much rather just keep the coolness. I suppose what I can do is roll through things, get my, uh, get my coolness going. Oh, really? Nah. <laughs> this character isn't going to work for me. Oh, God. I'll, I'll try again, obviously, but that was a really good run, and I absolutely whiffed it by just rolling over bullets constantly. I might have to take a much more passive approach at this character and just not actually aim to gain coolness, and instead just let it happen, because I think otherwise I'm gen that, that that exact scenario is going to happen to me every single time with this character, because I'm just going to try and game it every single room, and I'm always going to uh, end up regretting it. Also as well, it's just like, I'm, I'm a fairly, I don't really like, as a, as a player in general, I'm not very much of a min-maxer, and this is very much a min maxy strategy. Um... So, yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't tend to roll a lot either. This, this character probably isn't going to be my, like, within my wheelhouse, within my style in general. I No, no um, disrespect to the character at all. It's a really cool idea. But I'm, I'm way too much of a, of a rushing player. I don't min-max very much. I also just 
tend not to dodge roll a lot, and this is obviously a character that kind of expects slash forces you to dodge roll a lot. So it puts me... It's, it's not a bad thing, but it puts me well outside my comfort zone, which is just very difficult for me in, <laughs> in Gungeon, because I have a very well-defined comfort zone that I don't leave often. So it's going to be a bit rough for, for me with this character, I think. Also, ooh, I think you start with lower than average fire rate, which which is kind of sad times. Which, it makes sense, because you can gain so much, but... Oh, this gun. This gun, is, it, it, it suck real hard. <laughs> but, we will fight through. We will get through this room within the next century. But I, I, I like the fact that the active is a choice. I thought it was just going to be a random prize. And it was going to take a random amount of coolness off of me based on what it gave. Like it could give you a gun, it cost five coolness or whatever. I thought it was going to be random, but the fact that it's um, something that you can choose between with all those little menus, I respect that. It's pretty cool. Good. At least this room gives prizes. A rather lengthy boy, but it gives prizes at least. Like this room here, I just feel like I have to game it. I feel like I, it's, it's a waste if I don't. Like, I, I got hit because of it. I, I spent all that time doing that and I got hit. Because I rolled directly into the enemy, which I realise is entirely my fault, by the way. I'm not going to blame that on anyone but me. Did it again. I, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I, I'll be honest, I'm never not going to do this. <laughs> and I'm sure Never Named is going to put a comment in the... Oh, dude. It's going to put a comment down below being like, just play better. Just don't roll into things. Just be slower and make better decisions. And to, to him I say, sod you, you know how I play. I'll never change. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, I, I kind of lost, got lost in my own thought there. Let's continue on and see what we can do. I might die again, but it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. I think I think already we've got a pretty good showcase of the character, though. And of course, I like, by no means am I writing off this character for the series. I will come back to them on occasion um, and play them again. And of, of course, we've got another character from Knife to a Gunfight to try out that I'm really excited for. But I love, I absolutely love characters that do this, where they, they take an existing system that isn't heavily utilized and build around it. I think that's really fun. Um, yeah, I, I think that's really fun, a really cool way to do things. Get it? A cool way to do things? What the fuck is this? Um, oh, damn. What the hell? Oh, it's like an earthquake gun, I see. It's like one of those meters that reads earthquakes. That's really cool. I didn't actually see what the item was called. I think it was like Quaker Meter or something. What was it called? Seismograph. Okay. And then I think that... Yeah. Can run Quake. That's that's what the fucking... That's where I got the word Quake from. Cool weapon. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta say, I think it's a really good idea to build around a gimmick. Like I said, I, I think in terms of just the way that I play, I'm not the best type of player to take full advantage of this character. A lot of people, probably more people than not, min-max games and play them slowly. I've never been one of those players, so I'm I'm always gonna try to rush to get my, uh, my extra coolness in every room. And uh, it's always gonna screw me over, <laughs> essentially. Guardian of Time. Can open doors and solve puzzles. Intriguing. Intriguing. Yeah, this... What the actual fuck was that noise? That scared the ever-living shit out of me. What the hell? <laughs> oh, that scared me so much. Cinegrace's blessing. I forget what this, is do what this does. A blessing from the matchmaker Synergy Synergist chest will be substantially more common. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
I like that. Yeah, also an AoE gun doesn't really work for uh, rolling over bullets. I like it. I wonder how good it's going to be, like how effective it's going to be against bosses. I'm curious. It's pretty good. For the ammo that it has, it does decent damage and of course it hits the whole room so it's not crazy damage. Yeah, I think it's pretty damn good. Really good for rooms that have more enemies. I love the fact that it like shifts enemies around and stuff as well. We're killing him quick. There you go. We managed to get a, bit, a little bit of extra coolness. And we killed them both at the same time. Perfect. Right. To the regular floor this time around. We've got quite a lot of health with us here. So we should be a little bit more... Have a bit more leeway, but yeah, by this time next floor we had about four coolness, so you can definitely see the impact that it has. And I would be curious to see, like, over the course of a run, what you can get your coolness and fire it up to. Because I imagine you could probably get it to about 15, 16, maybe even more. If, um, it, it, it seems to be about two to three coolness per floor. Obviously, with the more rooms increasing, the further stages you go. I imagine you can probably get some really, really insane coolness levels. And the cool thing about coolness as well is there is some guns and items that benefit from it too. So it's like a multifaceted effect that works on a few different levels. I still absolutely love that dodge draw animation. That's like the cutest thing ever. But yeah, I think I think I was gaming it too much. I think I've just got to be, be more natural. But the, the, the problem for me with this character, or at least for me playing this character, is that I would like... Uh, to just keep it as a thing where we'll just let it be natural and it'll happen when it happens. But I so rarely dodge roll. Like, I basically, in Gungeon, I only ever dodge roll when I absolutely have to, um, which is normally on bosses that have attack patterns that require it or rooms that require it, um, that, that I'll basically never end up triggering the effect. But like, it's, it's so easy to like game and, and roll over things on purpose like I just did there. So it's not as if it's like super out the way to do it. It's just unnatural for me. And it's going to be a very big change of pace and play style for how I normally play. And therefore, it's going to take some adjustment and getting used to. But as I said, I'll keep playing the character on occasion uh, every now and again, every couple of episodes. And I'm sure we'll get used to them eventually. And it'll become sort of second nature and won't feel as uh, sort of jarring to my play style. But yeah, as, as I've said, I'll repeat it again. Really fucking cool character. Literally. Um, ooh, Withered Clover's pretty fun. I'll take Withered Clover. Um, seems to affect luck. Uh, all chests are replaced by C or D, but spawn four at a time. Beautiful. I wonder if they can still be Synagrace chests. That'd be interesting. Ooh, that, that, I think that might be the first time I've ever been pushed in a pit by one of those enemies, you know. Wasn't paying attention. Oh, that was close. Okay, we don't have keys right now. We do not have keys right now. Like, even now there, I was trying to roll over him and completely failing. And I'm just putting myself at risk too much. Good. Nice and easy on that guy. Synergy chest. Bat weapon with a synergy. Shot gatter. Oh, hello. Hellbound. Move slow again, a trail of fire. Chance to hex enemies. Gives casings up front, but can't gain from drop casings. We'll take the hexing rounds. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to change things up a little bit here. I don't use them very much. I feel like this run is probably doomed <laughs> anyways. Why not give it a go? Okay, things are getting way too hectic. 
Oh, I got Hex and I didn't dodge it. I forget what you do with Hexing rounds. Do you, do you like dodge roll to avoid it? I can't remember. I'll figure it out. Ow. Bollocks, I got hit again. I'm not quite sure what the, um... Oh, I think it's shooting, shooting the shot, the, the bat shot, um, dudes. Okay. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, I think it's just don't shoot while I'm hexed. Okay, the shotgun guys are kind of useless. They seem to miss a lot. Because of the pattern they're shooting. This this weapon's not amazing. <laughs> the bats don't seem at all interested in flying anywhere near the enemies. I'm getting hexed a lot. No, okay, I died. It's whatever. I think that was a, a a rather failed but decent showcase of the character. Um, as I said, I'll play them more, and I'm looking forward to playing the next character as well. Really cool idea, messing around with coolness, and I can imagine that runs get real wacky in the late game with this character because you can get so many room drops, certain items will be procking so much more. I, I reckon this character could be a lot of fun. I'll definitely have to just be, be more patient with the character and learn him a little bit. But either way, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.